Welcome to the Red Eye Flight. This is your pilot, Digital Pit Boss. We got a good one here. Seems like they won't change their spots. Some sides of town, they on the run. Other sides of town, they put down fires. There's something about a snake oil pilfer and a black magic necromancer. They don't change, Jesus. This shouldn't get deep, y'all. This show is brought to you a special entree by the calculated risk takers, the tentacles of the STEM program. We're gonna be bringing to you a little audio interview, a little audio inside of the snake oil cells, the handcrafted hustles. This is a dangerous game, big man. Dangerous game. 2017 is gonna get rough. I see a little change, but not enough. Ultimately, it's coming my way. Let's give a little shout out to one of our calculated risk takers on the West Coast. You guys go and sign up to Kev Gills TV. We're going to do this the real way. We're going to take a look at his video, Brother Polite, back at his old tricks again. Yeah, that'll be coming in a little while. And now you've got yourself something funky. Let's give a shout out to our women. As it was them who was interested in this video tonight. One of the female calculated risk takers. See, calculated risk takers is all over the country. They're not an organization. They're not a church. They're not a group. We're an ideology. We're an ideology of proper thinking. Get prepared. They're going to squirm in their beds tonight. They not gonna sleep well on this one. This one gonna hit from the East Coast to the West Coast. Oh yeah, y'all. Let's get to it. Let's bring it back my way. Welcome to the show. Oh yeah. It's time to do some damage. You see, I just be sitting back, but I can't help the love I'm shown. Let's drop the track. It's time to get into this. It's time to get heavy on the metal. Oh, yeah. A snake oil pilfer. That's an old petty hustler. You know how we do it. Yeah, we got to talk about Suge now. We got to talk about shock. Shocker utmost. Polite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't want to get out of it. I see you in the chat rooms. But we down to business. We got to get right. There's innocent victims watching these videos. And they've been spellbound long enough. It's just about that time, y'all. So, let's start off with Exhibit A. The snake oil salesman. Cam on me. Yeah. I gotta shout out Brother Polite. I'm so proud of you for what he did. 
You heard oh about that? No. Yeah, he found out why everybody thought he was robbing them. You didn't see that shit? Blew no. my mind. No, I didn't see Dude, it. he found out that his somebody, well, he thinks somebody set him up, but the way he explained it was mind blowing. Dude, the money that people been sending to Polite, uh -huh. it's been going to a PayPal account. And he didn't know, he went to go try to get some money out the bank and all of his accounts was frozen and he didn't know why. And then finally he find out, found out that PayPal had like over 400 complaints against him for purchases that had been made but not received. And everybody knows PayPal don't let you get past one. Right. Two the most. Right. So he was wondering, how could I have 400? So when he called them, and he let you hear the conversation and everything. When you, and I don't normally watch Brother Platt. Now, pay attention. Mr. Kodak's in game. Yeah, it's just about the end of this game. He said he, you know, he made the call and he let us listen. This is where the calculated risk taking gets very interesting. Kev Gills is going to break them off something. Show them how to do this, son. Oh, yeah. Let's get back to these black magic necromancers. Nobody. I just happened to look. Somebody posted it in the Valley Movement. And I watched it yesterday, and I was like, wow. It was mind-blowing. Like, I've never seen Polite in that kind of frame of mind before. You need to see it. Because dude was eating. Dude was... It. I did see the video. He was heating. Talk about it, but I yeah. It. Now you got to see it because okay. it it takes the veil off the mystery as to what was happening with the money. It was going to a bogus PayPal account that probably had nothing to do with. Damn. So he's like, Damn. I can't even give the refund back because it's money I never got. And he, can't and he said, he said, I never. He said, I haven't used PayPal in years. I use stripes. Now that is true because I, I know I. When here's the confirmation: the slick hand. One man sells you the snake, one man sells you the oil. They had to pay me my money right. because when we would do events together, right, right. I would say, yo, send my money to my PayPal. He right. said, I can't use PayPal. I don't, I don't use it. You. Yeah, dude, he ain't been using it. So he would always send me money through his account. Right. He would wire it to me through his right. account when we would split our money. Yeah, but it was, it was so, very eye-opening and very insightful. And I'm just glad that that stigma he was able to get that stigma off of him because I, I never seen him. It you got to see it because even emotionally speaking, yo, I'm looking I at Garfield right like now. That. Garfield said they held forty three k. Yeah, from him. And let's stop right there. Forty three k on PayPal. Ah, <laughs> oh boy, I tell you, y'all think I'm just going in on them on purpose, don't you? Think I just hate them, don't you? Wait till I play you the audio of what this snake oil salesman said to me on Israel Doctrine early one morning. The reason for the season. Yeah, that's right. Cutthroat season is upon us. Ah, yeah. Now, based on that, we got analyzers in the community. It's more than the eyes of pit boss out there. Oh yeah, and I found a good one. I found a good one. Kev Gills, what do you got to say about the snake oil salesman? Yeah, we're gonna look a little deeper inside this uh this PayPal little scandal. See if we want to jump on board this little class action lawsuit this nigga talk about. So, uh, so we already established that, for one, that's all her shit. That's her PayPal account. That's why she need her social to log in. And then two, we just established that that's her email. That's already a done data. But since people want to be on my page, I'm going into, you know, number three of 13. So here we go. PayPal. So he's saying, when is the last time we use PayPal? Right? He's trying to find that out. At first, it was I never had one. Then it was she got one, but we haven't used it since 2005. So it's been 10 years, supposedly, since he's used that account. Well, I had an account with PayPal. Okay. I can definitely look at that. I've never heard of my 
right now, I'm coming at it sooner at gmail.com is getting emails from you all. All right, what, which email address is getting the, uh, the emails? A-M-U-N-E-T. Look, that's her that's her shit. Look at her now. Look. A-T-M-U-N-E-T. Yeah. A-T-U-M-R-E. At gmail.com. A-T-U-M-R-E. <laughs> I mean this shit just don't get no better than this. Yes. That's correct. Look at him. He look, they already said they didn't even have one, right? This is what he realizing right now with his slick talking ass. He realizing like, damn, I just told this damn camera. I don't got no email. I haven't used one. Now I'm resorting to when is the last time I used it. Watch this. And is it still active? Watch this. Now watch this. You see, did you hear what the man said? He said, did they address her as Dear Juliet Smalls? See, these people, these people got Juliet Smalls account information, okay? These people got everybody identity. They got everything. Cause they scam artists. They gotta have multiple accounts, multiple identities. Now look at him when he asked that. Uh I will All right. Kev, I agree one hundred percent. Scam artists, pilfers, petty hustlers. Ah oh, man. It's a mess. Los Angeles isn't where you want to be. No, no, boy. Every crime ever took has been hooked in Los Angeles. And the task force they got is well prepared for the job. It's about time to fold that deck. Heard you guys are getting in the music business. Sounds a little familiar to me. Well, if any of those conscious community members have seen the house of cards fall in, Sign a contract with a snake oil salesman, you can guarantee we'll be back at the business again. This is getting ridiculous. All right, we got one more video to finish out this thought. Cap's gonna bring us back into light. Stop it right there. See, this is what scat, this is what niggas do, dumb niggas. When you you just telling uh telling stories and you trying to act act like <coughs> This ain't yours, and 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 you 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 think this is a scam? But that says in the lower left hand corner, right there, right right above the uh, the make a call logo, it says I am brother polite. So this is your email, bro. All right, now this is where Cab brings out the surgical instruments. Somehow he can see that damn screen. He got the good eyes, and he just spotted polite's count. Now, if he can do that with just a simple YouTube, what the hell can the IRS see? And they can get inside those accounts. Boy, if you got an ounce, you better bounce. Oh, yeah, if you can breathe, you better leave. Uh-huh. If you ain't had a date, you better break. If you don't know who to snake, you better escape. Get out of Dodge. We don't want your comedic Kool-Aid around here. You're making people sick. Sometimes you gotta just go away for a while. It's not good to come from a losing streak into a losing streak. Sometimes you just need to sit down. Sit your ass down. Take a break. Shit gets serious in the dirt. Now, what do you say? What do you say to the snake oil salesman? Time to think about it. Things are getting ugly. Carl Albert said he's going to the end of the year with this. If it's been this bad, <laughs> what do you think he's going to go out like? Got to go with a bang. You guys then aired out a lot of dirty laundry. You said a hundred apologies to yourself. But the men you damaged, the haters you hated on, 
the players that you played on. <clears throat> yeah. It's, re it's reaping time. It's the time to get rid of the shaft, to remove the snake from the garden. It's ugly for you. You can't confirm it. You're trying to learn it. Let's listen to the snake oils. Oh, they held 43K from Garfield. Oh, I believe that. At one yeah. time. Yeah, that's why I don't really Damn. PayPal. That's, but see, yeah. look, I'm going to tell y'all something. You got to be smart like your brother Sonetta. <laughs> what I do is, soon as my money go in PayPal, yeah. dude, I send it directly to my bank. So I don't bank play bank. games with no PayPal. I just send my money directly to my bank. Fuck PayPal. Yeah, I, I just hit the <laughs> button where it says, send to bank account. And I always have my money sent to bank account. Or you got to get you a PayPal MasterCard. I have one. Visa card. I got yeah, that. Yeah. You got to get tough. that. That way you go in there, get your damn money. Now, you know what we do over here? We operate the STEM program. We rocking the real science. We dropping the real technology. We connecting the real engineering. We counting up the real mathematics, not this slick oil salesman shit. Everybody knows about PayPal. I got a PayPal account. I got a PayPal debit card. I don't even touch the money. Unless I slide the card. What the hell are y'all selling? Why does it gotta be so hard? Pilfers. Pilfers at a third degree. You look stupid. You're covering up for a fool and the house is burning. One rat will lead the whole pack to their goddamn rats. You gotta clean out your closets. The skeletons are stacking up. You're looking stupid. You're looking stupid. Yeah. We're not buying that shit you're selling. You can bring out every classic R&B rapper from 1910. We're not believing it. Only a fool would set itself up with a loser. You're making calculated bets, calculated risks, taking calculated chances, and not dancing with the devil anymore. We've heard your whispers. We heard your literary art history lesson for eight years. No STEM program, no jobs included. We got the message. We're moving on. We're moving on into 2017. Brand new cipher. You know the lifers. It's getting ugly out here and it's dark in the field. You heard of the children of the GMO corn, haven't you? They done left that stack of cards. They're moving on. They disassociating themselves. Better move on them than on you. You're steady connecting dots. And the dot you connecting is working with the white man. He left you for the white man. God damn it, boy. When you're sinking in a ship, it sinks fast. I will move over in that burning building. You're going to be having company soon. If the counts are frozen, it means there's a lot of money missing. Bentleys don't run on water. Hell, an oil change costs a $1,000. Yeah, get ready. Y'all gonna have some bed buddies. It's going down. It's the house of cards. And the cards are falling. Y'all prepare yourselves. Tuck in tight. Christmas is very near. Yes, sir. Christmas. Imagine what you gonna get for Christmas. This has been brought to you
by the gracious donations and support and admiration of the calculated risk takers. The men you snake oil salesmen will never see. We'll continue to grind hard. We'll continue to be hated on. It's all part of the game. Yeah, I'm leading the charge. The same guy that called in your station and you hate it all. It's all good. You're not going to convert me. I run with the real G's. We can see through the bullshit. I done been in a crap game. And you done rolled snake eyes. You get ready, crap salesman. It's going down tonight. It's going down tonight. We're going to ride out of here. I see one of my chat men want to get a rhyme in before we go. You know how we do it. Oh, yeah. Digital pit boss. Boy, you get lost. You snake oil salesman. Cut your necks off. It's not to a pimp G. I can do it so easily. Rip shit apart for ya. Boy, I got some heart for ya. And I can stick it in the game. Nothing but the motherfucking pain. I'm a big dog. <laughs> you know I ain't got the rap, y'all. What the hell are you talking about? It's not the rap to <laughs> I just wanted to pump you up a little bit. Anyway, I do got this for you. Be impeccable with your words. Never make assumptions. Always do your best. And when I bust you in the head with the goddamn truth, don't you ever in your goddamn life take it personal. This is your boy. Number one stunner, pit boss. We're gonna run this shit 2017. That's right. If you crack the proof, there's no reason to prove. Welcome to the Red Eye Flight. This is your pilot. Digital pit boss. We got a good one here. Seems like they won't change their spots. Some sides of town they on the run. Other sides of town they put down fires. Just something about a snake oil pilfer and a black magic. Necromonts. They don't change, Jesus. This shouldn't get deep, y'all. This show is brought to you a special entree by the calculated risk takers, the tentacles of the STEM program. We're going to be bringing to you a little audio interview. Little audio inside of the snake oil cells, the handcrafted hustles. This is a dangerous game, man. Dangerous, dangerous game. They're not gonna sleep well on this one. This one gonna hit from the east coast to the west coast. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's get to it. Let's bring it back my way. Welcome to the show. Oh yeah. It's time to do some damage. You see, I just be sitting back. But I can't help the love I'm shown. Let's drop the track. It's time to get into this. It's time to get heavy on the metal. Oh yeah. A snake oil pilfer. That's an old petty hustler. 
You know how we do it. Yeah, we got to talk about Suge now. We got to talk about shock. Shocker utmost. Whole life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't want to get out of it. I see you in the chat rooms. But we down to business. We got to get right. There's innocent victims watching these videos. Twenty seventeen is gonna get rough. I see a little change, but not enough. Ultimately, it's coming my way. Let's give a little shout out to one of our. Calculated risk takers on the West Coast. You guys go and sign up to Kev Gills TV. We're going to do this the real way. We're going to take a look at his video, Brother Polite, back at his old tricks again. Yeah, that'll be coming in a little while. And now you've got yourself something funky. Let's give a shout out to our women. As it was them who was interested in this video tonight. One of the female calculated risk takers. See, calculated risk takers is all over the country. They're not an organization. They're not a church. They're not a group. We're an ideology. We're an ideology of proper thinking. Get prepared. They're going to squirm in their beds tonight. Very interesting. Kev Gills is going to break them off something. Show them how to do this, son. Oh, yeah. Let's get back to these black magic necromancers. Nobody. I just have to look. Somebody posted it in the Valley Movement. And I watched it yesterday and I was like, wow, it was mind blowing. Like I never seen Polite in that kind of frame of mind before. You need to see it. Cause dude yeah, was heated. Dude I was. Did, I did see the video. He was heated. Talk about it, but I yeah. it. Now you gotta see it because okay. it, it takes the veil off the mystery as to what was happening with the money. It was going to a bogus PayPal account that Polite had nothing to do with. Damn. So he's like, Damn. I can't even give the refund back because it's money I never got. And, he, and he, said, he said, I never, he said, I haven't used PayPal in years. I use stripes. Now, that is true because I, I know I, when. He Here's the confirmation, the slick hand. One man sells you the snake. One man sells you the oil. They had to pay me my money. Right. Because when we would do events together. Right, right. I would say, yo, send my money to my PayPal. He right. said, I can't use PayPal. I don't use it. Don't use, yeah, dude, he ain't been using it. So he would always send me money through his account. Right. He would wire it to me through his right. account when we would split our money. Yeah, but it was it was so, very eye-opening and very insightful. And I'm just glad that that stigma, he was able to get that stigma off of him. Because I, I never seen him. It you They've been spellbound long enough. It's just about that time, y'all. So... Let's start off with Exhibit A, the snake oil salesman. Cam on me. Yeah. I got to shout out Brother Polite. I'm so proud of you for what he did. You heard oh, about that? No. Yeah, he found out why everybody thought he was robbing them. You didn't see that shit? Blew no. my mind. No, I didn't see Dude, it. Dude, he found out that his somebody, well, he thinks somebody set him up, but the way he explained it was mind blowing. Dude, the money that people been sending to Polite, uh -huh. it's been going to a PayPal account. And he didn't know, he went to go try to get some money out the bank and all of his accounts was frozen and he didn't know why. And then finally he find out, found out that PayPal had like over 400 complaints against him for purchases that had been made but not received. And everybody knows PayPal don't let you get past one. Right. Two the most. Right. So he was wondering, how could I have 400? So when he called them, and he let you hear the conversation and everything. When you, and I don't normally watch Brother Platt. Now, pay attention. 
Mr. Kodak's in game. Yeah, it's just about the end of this game. He said he, you know, he made the call and he let us listen. This is where the calculated risk taking gets very.